Hi friends, welcome to Tritech Stuff channel and in this video I am going to talk about how to solve a rendering issue On left hand side you can see there are multiple projects you can see and these projects I have and I am working continuously on multiple projects but these all projects are stored in SSD drive rather than normal hard drive so one thing whenever you work with the Final Cut Pro make sure if possible use the library in SSD rather than normal hard drive okay don't use the normal hard drive because those are not not that efficient in terms of rendering because if you go and see in your preference the rendering preference set is around 0 0.3 seconds so that means every three second your uh, Final Cut Pro will try to render whatever the project or component you have on the on the track. Okay, so use SSD first precaution. Second thing, if you are going to use very high uh, quality videos, I'll suggest you to use proxy media rather than uh, normal media. Proxy media will help you to to work. If you don't know how to, you can comment down below. I'll do the one session on that how to work with the proxy media and. I, Sport as a original format. Okay, so in this video we are going to talk about how to resolve the rendering problem. Like you can see in this project, I have lot of component. You can see I have two track of music. There's a video and lots of action component which plugins we usually call. And all these plugins are installed. All these plugins are on top of this track. You can see sometimes these plugins have a problem and these plugins don't go very well with your video so we need to figure out which plugin also have the problem okay but in most of the case 99% case the problems comes through the rendering file and what is rendering file rendering file is when we copy the all this media and this plugin on our track actually if you see the size of this media originally it will be very less but in rendering because Final Cut Pro in background create a multiple version of this file while doing the rendering so you will have very smooth if you try to do the rendering all in once it might take much longer time or if there would be any problem it will stuck the whole project rather than little bit okay so you can see this is the one component I am going to just copy and paste here and now you can see on the top it's a started rendering okay if you facing a rendering challenge the best and easiest way to solve is go to file and there will be an option called delete generated file click click there and and ask it will ask you to delete optimized media delete proxy media this is why it is happening because I haven't selected the project when you will select the project we don't want to delete the optimized media and proxy media if you delete this file what will happen when you start working on the project it will again ask you uh, it will uh, take uh, uh, much longer time to create the optimized and proxy media based on the your project configuration so when you select the project like this i have selected project and if you go on a file and click on a generate this time you get you getting a one more option called delete the rendering file so what is going to be happen there is a file uh, created by apple uh, final cut pro or tool uh, and this file you can delete these these are the temporary file based on the your work flow if you delete there is no harm only thing is it will start rendering your project again and if there would be any problem with the, your previous rendering file it will be uh, get resolved that's the one way and easiest way we use to delete I'm not going to delete now I'll show you the size of the file first so like see I am working on this project which is under the test okay so what I'll do, I'll, I'll go to this project location. So reveal in the finder. Reveal in the finder will tell, let you where is your project. When you click, now this is your actual uh, Final Cut Pro package. You won't be able to open like this. Click, right click. And then there is a third option called show package content. Click on the show package content. When you go into this, you can see there are a lot of things. You just need to select the event, that this date, you see and there is a one separate folder called rendering file so original media the all the media which we have copied if you see the size of all this media 68 mb 16 mb 15 mb and 67 mb 
But if we go and check the size of rendering, you see high quality pix data and thumbnails. If you select and get info, you can see it's around 2 GB. It's not that big, but it's still big because there is not a 1 GB of the source file, so almost double. So if you delete this file from here or from there, it doesn't impact you and it will work uh, as expected. So if you're facing any problem due to rendering, I'll suggest you to delete the rendering file from here if you're confident, uh, confident uh, about that location. Otherwise, select your project, go to file and click generated file and click the delete my render file, rendering file. I have just clicked and it deleted the rendering file. Let's go and see if those files has been deleted or not. So revel in finder again, so package. And if you go here, you see the rendering and if we get info, what is going to be happen? It's still 2.7, but you can see it's going down. Okay. So what we'll do first, we will, uh, this is the project. So what we'll do, uh, we will, stop the automatic remainder, uh, background rendering okay you see i have unchecked the background rendering so it will confirm you so now select this project go to file delete the project click the rendering file deletion okay and just wait for a few minutes it will be get deleted and now we can go and check in the source file so we can go and reveal finder go and do the show package and now close all this and click here and get info so now we can see it has been deleted and the size went down so whatever would be there as a temporary file has been deleted in case if you, still you are facing a challenge i would suggest you to go to the rendering folder choose the folder option like this go to the rendering and select all three and delete it okay so I'm going to move the trash. So complete rendering file, whichever has not been deleted by Apple tool itself, we have deleted completely. Okay, so now it's free and there's nothing has been rendered so far. So what we'll do, we will enable the rendering. So go there and say enable rendering. Once you're done, close. Now you can see rendering is started. In the first time, because my I'm, I'm showing the project demo with the very small size project. But if you have a big project, it might take a few minutes to complete the rendering because we had deleted all the component and file, whatever is created by the FCP. So this way you can able to solve the rendering problem 99%. Okay. One of the incident I had where you can see the rendering is done, file will be start playing. If you play, it will play easily. You can see it is playing properly. So there is no problem so far is check smart okay also let's see the size of the file we will find that again so package content go to the date render and now you can see there is only one package called high quality media so whatever was there was not in use and they, that might have the some problem and now the file size is just 1.0.3 gb so this way you will be able to solve 99 percent of your uh, rendering issue one of the incident i have observed because we use plugin outside means we buy the plugin from third party and we use those plugin those plugins are developed on motion and those some of them are very uh, heavy and not optimized properly so when you will drag and drop those plugins into your uh, timeline like this suppose i am going to i have few of them if i drag and drop here it will take much longer time and you can see some missing file also is started saying so there could be any reason so try to understand and how you will be able to figure out which plugin have the problem that you will be able to calculate based on the rendering so whenever the rendering will start like this i'll, I'll copy again here rendering will start okay i'm just copying and pasting here so now rendering will start again if you play in there yeah you can see it is started so when it will start and whenever it will be hang or it not work you will see the percentage if you seeing the 80 percent then look for the timeline where it could be 80 percent like this place might be the 80 percent and check the plugin there 
if anyone and try to remove the plugin and try to check the rendering by doing that also you will able to resolve so the rendering count whenever rendering will not work perfectly it will be it, it is going to be stopped at certain number 60% 30% 40% wherever there would be a plugin which plugin might creating a problem delete that plugin use another one or change with the different one and it will start working these these way you will be able to solve your problem i hope i will i am able to answer your all rendering issue i have seen so many people commented on my previous video and my previous video does not have the very good audio so i have uh, recorded this one guys if you have any uh, query and concern related to that please feel free to comment and if you like this video please like it and thank you for watching and coming on my channel have a good day